to have you remain with us on TVC Breakfast now to South Africa, where the ruling party, the African National Congress, ANC, has elected Cyril Ramaphosa as its next president. Yeah. Ramaphosa, who is the party and country's deputy president, had a tight contest against the former African Union Congress or Commission's chairwoman or chairperson, Nkosazana Dlamini Zuma. Only about 200 votes separated the two candidates at the 54th National Conference of the ANC on Monday. Now Ramaphosa succeeds President Jacob Zuma, who will still remain in his position as president until the 2019 presidential and parliamentary elections. Ramaphosa there. Now we have in studio with us an African affairs analyst, Chuk Sumoko. Uh, good morning and good to thank, see you. Compliments you. of the season. Same to you. Thank nice you for having me again. Just five days to Christmas. <laughs> How excited are you? Well, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm healthy. I'm well. Yeah. By the grace of God, I will see it next year. That's amen. Good. We'll say a big amen to yes. that. So what do you think worked for Cyril Ramaphosa uh, in emerging the leader of the ANC? I mean, uh, considering the fact that he's deputy to Zuma, who represents everything that South Africa does not want to, you know, identify with at least anymore. You're talking about ANC here. What mm -hmm. worked for him is that the ANC is, is structured, you know, to um, bring up, you know, successive uh, succession as it were. Mm -hmm. and that. Even though he had, like you said, um, he had a close, you know, chase with um, the chairwoman and all that. But it's just a tradition that they have in the, in the, in the party. The, the party is well structured, you know, and you're talking about ANC here, you know. Um, I'm not surprised that... that um, he has been elected. By the way, um, he is, they are the same. Mm -hmm. He's the same of the same. Mm. Yeah. So there, there, there's nothing, you know. Um, ANC, I, is, is, I don't know whether it was a coincidence. We just had somebody come on set to talk about PDP and all that. Mm. It's the same thing. You know, it, it, it's the same thing that is going on in PDP that you have there. By the end of today, I won't be surprised if somebody does not go to court to challenge mm. the, the, outcome. the elective, uh, whatever <laughs> that is ending today. So mm. it's just... An African problem is the same thing. Um, in fact, in fact, most people, including me, um, surprised that ANC didn't break up during this uh, mm -hmm. convention. Mm -hmm. You know, they were all scared and worried that uh, this convention was going to bring an end to to the fragment, you know, to the cohesiveness that you have in, in the ANC. ANC. But but to God be the glory, they come out of it with minor, uh, you know, complaints here and there. But it's the same thing. ANC is well structured. It's a it's an organization that is one hundred and five. One hundred and five years, years, years old. old. Yeah. Yeah. It's been on ground for, for for such a long time. Mm -hmm. And by the way, what is ANC? ANC is every, everybody that opposed um, the apartheid regime. Mm -hmm. It's a member of um, ANC. ANC. So it is well structured. And, and, and they've been on ground for such a long time. All right. We, we've often heard them invoke the name of Nelson Mandela, mm -hmm. Madiba. Anywhere you go for the convention with their party symbols and party icons and all of that, Mandela is always there. But the ANC that Mandela and the others uh, all worked for, because certainly ANC was even there before they joined, uh -huh. but they became icons, mm. uh, at least the new generation icons, so to say, of the ANC. Uh, do you think the ANC of that, of Mandela, is still the ANC now? No, no, no. When it I, because I mean, you're talking about the structure and all of that. Yes, but you know, wherever Mandela is now, it will just be saddened mm -hmm. um, that that nationalistic tendency, behavior, phenomenon that, that, that those of them who formed ANC, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that has been bastardized um, and exemplified by this corrupt uh, Jacob Zuma, who answers a Christian name, by the way. You know, so <laughs> it, it's it's. It's terrible what is going on in South Africa. It's very, very... In fact, that, the last time I came here, I, I guess I, I, I was supposed to be talking about Z Zimbabwe. But I was so sad. I, I kept talking about, about South Africa. Mm -hmm. Because, look, when Mandela, the Mandela that you're talking about, when he died, mm -hmm. and the whole world went to pay him uh, honor, you know, he was being glorified in death as against a sitting president, Jacob, mm. Jacob Zuma, who was being... Who was booed. Who was booed. In the, yeah. in the, mm. in whatever. At the so ceremony. The, the at death, Mandela is far better than, than a living Jacob Zuma. Now, hmm. that's profound. Yes, very profound. Because, look, 
if you know what is going on in South Africa in terms of the disappointment that Mandela will be feeling right now in his grave, what I feel here in Lagos, why? Against the aspirations, the hope, and the opportunities that that, that group of people um, represented. Nigeria paid dearly. Obasanjo is alive. Mm -hmm. If you have access to him, you ask him. He wanted to bring salvation to that country. I remember, I was a very young man. Um, the, the, the Margaret Thatcher was opposed to whatever it was that the world wanted to do to the apartheid regime. Mm -hmm. Obasanjo, the then Prime Minister of Australia, was mandated to go and visit Mandela in prison. That gave way to the negotiation that eventually led to the freedom of mm -hmm. uh, Mandela and gave way to election. Between 1990 and 1934, uh, they eventually had that election that brought this ANC. And ANC, Ramaphosa was part of that uh, negotiation uh, too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And if we'll, we'll talk about Ramaphosa, mm -hmm. but the Mandela man that you talked about, mm -hmm. after one term, stepped down. Mm -hmm. And the reason he did so was to institutionalize democracy mm -hmm. and let people like Putin and, and Mugabe in Zimbabwe that you don't need to rule your people forever. forever. Mm -hmm. So he stepped down, showing an example. Nobody has shown any But that lesson that seems to be lost on it has been every lost other African country. country. Has ever With Zimbabwe uh, and the rest Shown that of them. example. Mm -hmm. So he eventually died. Mbeki took over. He came, Mbeki came with his own dislocation and problems. There was an ep um, AIDS epidemic. He refused to acknowledge that he was real. Mm -hmm. He accused the Western world and everybody abandoned him. That's what gave birth to, to Zuma. Mm -hmm. So when you check what is going on in South Africa, check what is going on in, in it's more cars that they are driving. Look, mm -hmm. Mbeki returned from, all of them returned from exile just before the election, mm -hmm. and they got elected. People who were living on stipends, contributed by countries like Nigeria, Australia, just to aid them in their underground movement as they were fighting apartheid. They were living on stipends with their wives and their children. After the election, they began to have access to the wealth of the nation. I mean, the members who were elected to, into, the, into the House of um, Parliament mm -hmm. began to see money. They began to receive like 200, A lot of money. All right, let's come back to, very quickly, we don't have time to Ramaphosa. Uh, some are saying he has his job cut out for him. What task do you think is before Ramaphosa immediately right now? Uh, what, what do you I, think I don't know what job is cut out for him. Like I said to you. With a fragmented my, ANC, for example? I, ha I, listen, I tried to listen to him, uh, his speech, after he was elected. Mm. Nothing. No direction. We, well, I heard him talk about change, but the, he didn't recognize that the change that is going to come to South Africa is going to come in 2019, mm. in the next election. And end, ANC is going to come to an end, the way PDP came to an end after 16 years. Mm -hmm. The way Mugabe has come mm. to an end. Because the way Putin the, is going to come to an end. Because the DA end. and the EFF the are pushing, came they're to pushing an end. hard. We are talking, look, what is apartheid? The, the minority were just saying to the black people, you can't lead yourself. ANC has not been able to leave South Africa. Mm -hmm. ANC has not been able to lead South Africa close to 25 years after they came to power. Mm. Look, in 2015, Jacob Zuma was indicted, was persecuted, and he was indicted, you forgotten, mm. for rape and for corruption. Yeah. Why? He came back, because he's the big boy from his province, the province where he's from is littered with poor people who has been jettisoned by the apartheid regime. So, Having reason to becoming a minister, he became a big boy. And so he needed money. His 20,000 naira per month salary as a minister was not enough for him. So he got neck deep in corruption. In 2015, mm. he was persecuted. And that's a battle that Ramaphosa will So when you talk about Cyril uh, Ramaphosa, Ramaphosa. Ramaphosa mm. he has nothing to offer because he is the, they are the same. Okay. I listened to him talk about the change, uh, th that they're going to bring change. Mm. That change is all our way. Listening okay. to him, I know that that change is going to come to South Africa, not just to ANC, where a minority, a smaller party is going to chase them out of power. Okay. Uh, uh, well, thank you very much, uh, Chuks Mwoko, African Affairs Analyst, for uh, lending a voice on this. We, we, 2016, we saw how uh, ANC lost grounds, lost election in municipal election. Yeah, in jo Joburg and Pretoria. Yeah, exactly. Even in parts of Gauteng and yeah. all of that. Mm. So we look forward to how things will play out in the coming Absolutely. days and coming year. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Thank you for thank having you. me.